The entrance to the King David Lodge is lined with photos and trophies. Among all the statues and memories rests Psalm 133. Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. All masonry is, whether it's Freemasonry or ancient accepted Freemasonry, is to serve the community, serve the public, and those men of good character just willing to help their fellow neighbors. Black Freemasonry was born in Boston, Massachusetts shortly before the Revolutionary War. The organization found its way to Oklahoma Territory in the 1890s, and the group's principles have remained the same for more than 120 years. Our motto is to protect our women and, and widows and orphans. Former president of the King David Lodge, Kevin Cox, says the fraternal order provides a sense of community, pride, and brotherhood. The organization played a vital role in the first half of the 20th century. Back in the 30s and 40s, when segregation was, uh, was big here in Oklahoma, we could not go to the Rotary Club or the Lions Club or downtown or go to the different YMCA's or hotels or, or convention centers. And masonry was what the community had to bring everybody together. But as a result, masonry, in my opinion, was the biggest organization uh, dealing with the ills of segregation back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. King David was the biggest lodge in the state at one time boasting 150 members, but the number of men wearing the Mason's apron has declined. In all community-based organizations, the, um, the, 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 the uh, membership and the population is dropping, but uh, we are losing members uh, through attrition. And our young people don't understand that because of organizations like our organizations, these youngsters can now live anywhere in Oklahoma City they want to live, go to any college they want to go to, and succeed. But they don't understand the struggle that we had to go through to provide this. And as a result, young people don't see the, the importance of coming in and serving the community where they were born and raised. Shrinking membership can also lead to a smaller pool of funds, but the Northeast Metro Lodge still raises thousands of dollars through community cookouts and other opportunities. The funds raised help feed families in the neighborhoods surrounding Northeast 25th Street, providing uniforms for Little League groups and assistance for the elderly. The symbols of ancient order are prominently displayed on the exterior of the lodge and the meeting hall. The former lodge president hopes the compass and the square continue to guide the organization in the future. I hope for the future for all Prince Hall Masonry that we continue to grow and be a viable uh, organization in our community here in the state of Oklahoma and the nation.